Hi, my name's Kim and I want to talk to you about touring in the music industry. I started my career in 1979 at the age of 19 and I've had the most wonderful career. Met some amazing people, been to some amazing places and had the most amazing of times. I'm going to ask you the first question. Do you love music? Because if you don't love music, this is not the place for you. There are so many types of music out there. And even if you don't start to love it at first, you'll find that sometimes it kind of turns its way around and turns its way up, up, up in its head. And you end up liking it. For instance, I don't like heavy metal, but you'll find out that if you know anything about me, I spent my first 10 years in the music industry working with heavy metal. In fact, I work for a band called Mosehead. And it's only from them that I think I've learned everything that I know now. You see, if you actually work for the music that you actually love, it's kind of hard to get any work done because you're really interested in just what's going on in the show and you just want to listen to it and feel it and be part of it. But, you know, tour management isn't like that. Tour management is you making sure it all happens by the time they go on stage and after the first couple of numbers you can actually relax and you find yourself not being part of that you show. want to travel the world for instance you can and you do but let me tell you a quick story about san francisco i've always wanted to go to san francisco well i did at the time always wanted to get there and it was on my first visit i i remember saying to the uh, bus driver so hey when do we get to san francisco and he turned around to me and went, Kim, we were there two days ago. So, okay, that gives you an example of that one. Secondly, second time I went, we were just leaving. And the only place I saw in San Francisco was the inside of a concrete building, big auditorium. The third time I went, I actually went outside and I said to everybody, I'm going to be out of here for 30 minutes. That's all, just 30 minutes. Hailed a cab, got in it and said to the cab driver, okay, I've got 30 minutes, show me San Francisco. And he did, and we had a great time. Let me ask you another question. Do you like peace and quiet? <laughs> this isn't the industry if you like peace and quiet. There's always so much noise. As you can imagine, there's the music to begin with. Then there's getting people to places and being in the hustle and bustle of it all and being in the midst of it, everything. But in all that's going on around you, being a tour manager also means you've got to keep calm. I remember somebody actually said to me, Kim, I've never ever seen you run or lose your temper. And I didn't. I think I lost my temper three times in my whole career. And it was actually about food, it had nothing to do with music. And it was when I was hungry. Because another thing is too, if you like your food, it's not exactly again the place to be. Sometimes you can find out it's seven o'clock at night and you have not had the time to eat because you've been so busy. First time I lost my temper, I turned over the tables in the area that we were supposed to eat in and it was basically because I'm a vegetarian and there was no vegetarian food. And I was so angry because I was hungry. The second time it was the same thing and that was in uh, Eastern Europe at the time and basically they'd made a goulash and the goulash i guess was wonderful if you were into meat but if you weren't into meat and somebody handed you a bowl full of rice with just the sauce and the juices from the goulash you won't be too happy either oh and then there was the time of the potato salad being made in the urinal in brazil but hey ho our you know yeah food if you're a foodie it's not the place do you like like I said, to travel, see the world and everything. We've been through this one. But do you like your own bed at night? Do you actually, at the end of, say, you've been away on holiday for a couple of weeks and you think to yourself, I really fancy my own bed now. <laughs> yeah, try three years without sleeping in your own bed. Different bed every night. That sounds a bit cheesy. Actually, that could be taken wrongly. But you're in a different hotel room all the time. You're never in the same bed. You're never in the same room. So, do you miss your own bed? Mm. And also, you're not going to get to it that often. Tour management, it's long hours. And if you're not used to long hours, again, this, this place is not for you. 
But if you can survive on five to six hours a night, then hey ho, you've cracked it. If you have a family, I wouldn't suggest you to do it. Um, I had my daughter in 1995, and then I changed my career from tour management into what they then called troubleshooting. It was still on tour, but I didn't tour that much. And trust me, to become a, tour, a troubleshooter, as they now call a crisis management, you've got to put the years in to get there because you don't know the situations that happen on tour, so you have no idea how to resolve them. You haven't lived them yet, so that's one to achieve in the future. Yeah.